Welcome back again, this is Fox. In this video today, another satisfactory video, we're going to be showing you how to make 900 rubber from only 300 oil. This whole process, everything you see here, is making 900 rubber. The only thing we've got coming in is 300 oil and obviously the water that some of the refineries need. So yeah, I'm going to show you exactly how this works. Um, there's been a lot of videos on this in the past, uh, up to update 4 showing you how to do this. You used to have to package water to make the diluted fuel then unpackage it but now we can do it all with just these blenders so it's a lot lot easier. I haven't seen anybody do a, do a video on this uh, production setup for update 4 so I've got a lot of them here as you can see. I'm going to have a quick look at this. I won't look at it too long because it eats your frames. All of these will eventually be covered up like those two over there, and yep, then I will be doing a full overview video of this. But for now, I'm just going to show you how to do this 300 oil to 900 rubber. I will say before we get onto this, um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, hit the bell for notifications. Also, there is a link in the description to my Discord. It's growing uh, pretty steadily now. We've got a load of cool members over there, whether it's for my Anno 1800, which I do videos for, or Satisfactory. Um, Come, post your screenshots, join the community. But yeah, 300, royal, 300 oil to 900 rubber, let's get going. So the oil comes in, as you can see. Got This is a 300 line, don't worry about the 600, uh, 600 pipe, but there is 300 oil coming in here. This is then going into 10 refineries. You will need the alternate heavy oil residue recipe. This creates 40, M, 40 M3 heavy oil residue a minute from 30 crude oil. It also gives 20 polymer resin. We are going to be using this poly polymer resin, but we'll get that into a bit. So, 10 refineries using 30 oil each, producing 40 heavy oil residue each, 10 times 40 is 400. So, we've instantly we've turned 300 oil into 400 heavy oil residue. That is all they need, just the oil. Turns it into heavy oil residue, gives a 20, poly 20 polymer resin. So the 20 polymer resin by each refinery gives us 200 polymer resin. Now, I suppose I could, should give you a brief overview of everything here because it's going to make sense if I do. So um, the, the end refineries which we're looking to satisfy are these. This is using the alternate recycled ru rubber recipe. This turns plastic and fuel into rubber. Seems like a bit of a weird combination, but it is a really good alt. It gives the most output per amount of oil put into this chain so 60 rubber a minute each one of these refineries can make and we've got 18 I believe 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 18 so nearly 1200 rubber but some of that's that's getting cycled back into the system to feed these plastic refineries so yeah the the rubber refineries need plastic to make the plastic the plastic refineries need rubber so alternate recycled plastic this uses rubber and fuel again to make the plastic. So the three things we need mainly are fuel, plastic and rubber to make the plastic to then make the rubber again. Sounds a bit weird, uh, it can get a bit confusing but it really is not that difficult. So first thing we're doing is we work out how much plastic we need to satisfy the, I think it's 16 refineries we've got working in the end making the rubber to the general output. So. Those 16 refineries needed 536 plastic a minute. That meant nine refineries making 60. And the last one making 54. That added up to 500 and some plastic a minute. 60, 120, 180, 240. 300, 360, 420, 480, and 54 is 534. This should be on 56. My bad. So yes, these nine refineries need rubber to make the plastic for the rest of the refineries that uh, give us the 900 output. So they needed 267 rubber a minute. Now. This polymer resin was a byproduct from the every oil refineries. We've got to get rid of it. So I'm turning that straight into rubber to get us going on this setup here. So these five refineries are dealing with 40 polymer resin each. If you remember, we had 200. Five times 40 polymer resin is 200. So these five refineries 
using up all the poly polymer resin and making me 20 rubber each, so 100. 100 out of the 267 rubber is coming from a byproduct straight away from the other oil refineries. That then me means we needed another 167 rubber. This is where things start to get a bit complicated. Um, we need to use rubber from three of these refineries here to feed into the plastic making refineries which use the rubber to make the plastic. So these first three refineries here, you can see, I needed 167. So this one's making 60. This one's making 60, that's 120. This one is clocked down to make me 47, which is the 167. Plus the 100 from the refineries that we're using the polymer resin gives us the 267 rubber we need a minute to make the uh, plastic. 30 times nine and a bit was 267. So yeah, nice and straightforward. Um, you could just literally have all of these flow into the output. All of them flowing this way, sorry, into this and then overflow to the output, but I like to do it this way. I like to make sure the numbers are bang on. So these three refineries plus these five refineries using the uh, polymer resin makes enough rubber to feed the fact feed the uh, plastic refineries. The, the rest is really straightforward. All you need to do then is turn the heavy oil residue into fuel, split the fuel amongst all of the refineries, and then you've got exactly what you need. So the fuel, as I said before, it used to be a right pain. You used to have to use packaged water to mix in refineries to give you the light dilutive fuel. Let's uh, just pop a refinery down. I can show you the, the old recipe. It's the Diluted fuel. Alternate diluted package fuel. This used to use every oil residue and packaged water to make packaged fuel. You then had to unpackage the fuel. So there was a lot of stages of this. The packaged, the water needed packaging. Send into this refinery. The water needed, the canisters used to have to be fed back into this. You then used to have to unpack the fuel at the other end as well. So it was a lot of packing and unpacking and a lot of extra refineries. Now we can do all of that process in these blenders. So all these blenders need is heavy oil residue, which they turn into the fuel, and water to mix with it to dilute it, which means you get more fuel per the heavy oil residue. You can see 50 heavy oil residue is giving us 100 fuel per blender because we're mixing it with the water. So the maths for this was really straightforward. We had 400 heavy oil residue. Each one of these uses 50, so we needed eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Five eights of 400. These needed 100 water each water extractors these are all set to the standard 120 so they're producing a little bit more um, I have overclocked and underclocked some of these just to feed the right amount into each refinery setup but yeah absolute piece of cake pump the heavy oil residue in mix it with the water gives us all the fuel we need to make the plastic and then ship the plastic to the other refineries and turn it into rubber um, you notice this little loop system I've got I always do this I feed in the heavy oil residue into the blenders at both ends and the middle gives a nice constant flow got valves here so that it can't go backwards so it's one continuous loop valves so it can't go backwards we're also inputting the heavy oil residue in the middle as well nothing crazy about that nice and straightforward so yeah once we've got the fuel obviously i've again i've divvied it up so that each refinery setup had the right amount um, the refinery is making the plastic needed 267 fuel a minute which is exactly the same amount of rubber that they need it's a one to one split you can see 30 rubber 30 fuel so these first three blenders you can see the output one two three are feeding all of the refineries making the plastic they needed 267 so it's some real quick maths I've got this one at 100 a minute this one at 100 a minute this one at 67 a minute. <clears throat> because I've underclocked this one 67 a minute, that left 33 a minute in lieu that we still need to feed the rest of the refineries. So the rest of the refineries are all fed into this main loop feeding the rubber refineries. I've just overclocked this one to add in that 33 or that 34%. So some real basic overclocking and underclocking to achieve what we wanted to. I mean, you could set this up in one giant loop, but as I said, I always like to make sure each little section is getting exactly the amount of goods that it needs. Um, it's just easier to see if you've got any issues or whether it's working well. So, yeah, 
Um, third one, down clock to 67. Fourth one, overclock to 143. First three, feeding into the plastic. The next five, same thing again, created a big loop. Feeding into the refineries, making the rubber. So it's being fed in from both ends of the loop. Bloody auto save, wish I'd turned it off. But yeah, same thing as what we did with the heavy oil residue. We're feeding both ends of the loop. Um, it just helps keep everything flowing better. If you pump it from one end, the ones at the other end are always going to get starved and left you turn all the machines off every now and again and bleed it. You can see, you may notice I don't use any uh, buffers. I'm never doing these setups. The way I turn them on and set them up uh, means that I don't need to. It's easy for me to see what's going on, see if there's any problems. So yeah, once the fuel was made and pumped into the systems, all we then had to do was to get the plastic from these refineries into the rubber. This is just a simple manifold system. Um, you are going to want to charge these. I call it charging these before you get going. What I do is um, the order that I set these up is as soon as I've got the oil coming into these heavy oil residue, residue refineries, turn it on. Then set up the refineries making the rubber from the polymer resin so that this then starts filling up slowly filling up these or at least filling the lineup for these then whenever your residue is full turn on the fuel blenders then one by one turn the refineries on so that everything fills up in these refineries so before you input any rubber back into these before you input any plastic into these you really want this fuel line to be totally full and all of the refineries to be full of rubber and plastic now I had the luxury of creating many of these loops. So what I did is I filled up my inventory full of rubber and plastic. Let all of the refineries fill up with uh, fuel. Then I went along, dropped the amount of rubber I needed into here, quickly moved on to this one, dropped, filled this with rubber, quickly went onto this one, filled this with rubber, quickly went onto this one, filled this with rubber. You can get what the idea. Then I filled all of these with plastic to save waiting for them to fill up. It would have took forever, especially because I'm using just this manifold overflow system. That's the way I like to do it. Let the refineries fill up with fuel first, get the rubber and plastic from elsewhere if you're already making it or handcraft it. I mean, it, the first setup I didn't, I just let it build up over time. But once I was going, I just went over to this one, stole as much as I needed to fill all of these, let them fill up with the fuel, then quickly went along and fill them all up with the, goods that, the other goods that they need for intake, so plastic and rubber. And that's it, piece of cake, nothing else to it. Um, one of these extractors is overclocked. If you remember, one of the blenders we put to 134%. So this I've put to 180 M3 a minute water to compensate for that. You can see the fourth blender, it needed 134 a minute. So it was more than one water extractor would need on its own. Yeah, apart from that, piece of cake. So the end output is 190 rubber a minute you can see the plastics flowing perfect I have set a smart overflow splitter up here just in case for some reason the plastic fills up um, any excess is then going off to a sink as a fraction it's like I've been watching this for a while it's like three or four every minute or so but yeah you do not want these plastic refiners to stall because they're using fuel if they fill it with plastic they won't use the fuel that means these will fill up, they won't need the heavy oil residue, which means these will fill up, they'll stop producing the resin. Everything needs to keep flowing in these. They are living, breathing things. You really do need to come check on these every now and again. I mean, I did have a fair few issues with the oil. Some of these you can see, some of these were running sweet off the 600 oil pipe all the way. Some of them I had to go back and delete them and change them to 300 oil pipes. Don't ask me why, it's just the way fluids work in this boxy game. I've got a pump under here, pushing the oil around. But yeah, that's it. Real nice and easy, nice and straightforward. So quickly, we'll just go over the whole process again. Some real quick numbers in case you wanted to copy this yourself. So, 10 refineries using the alternate heavy oil residue. These then make 400 heavy oil residue from the 300 oil, plus 200 polymer resin. The 200 polymer resin is then going into these five refineries making 100 rubber which is 
going to be sent to these refineries making the plastic. We then needed an, an additional 167 rubber. So these first three refineries uh, clocked and underclocked to make the 167. Mixed with the line that comes from these making using the polymer resin and then fed into the plastic refineries. The refineries using the rubber to make plastic. The blenders really couldn't be more simple. You, know, you need to make 800 fuel a minute. Eight blenders all using a 50 heavy oil residue and 100 water a minute to make that 800 fuel. Send it in one loop if you want. If not, split it into two sections like I have. So first three feed in the plastic refineries, the other five with one overclocked feed in the rest of the refineries making the rubber. So yeah, you can see the output 900 rubber a minute. I've got some balances in here making two lines of an equal amount because, if you remember, the first three were making the rubber for the plastic refineries. So if I just took the output of this side and the output of this side, they would be different. So I've got a two into two merger, so giving me two equal lines of four. What's going on here with this plastic? Two equal lines of 450 rubber. I will be splitting this up. I will be balancing these out when I put them on the main bus for my next big project. But yeah, for now, that is how you make 900 rubber from 300 oil. If you wanted to do something similar with plastic, the numbers are a bit different, as you can may well tell from this. Um, this is one that's overclocked or underclocked. So yeah, they use 30 rubber a minute to make 60 plastic, whereas these use 30 plastic to make 60 rubber. But there was something different in the process, but I couldn't remember what. Well, I'm an absolute mong. Maybe they've changed it. 30 rubber a minute to make 60 plastic. 30 plastic a minute to make 60 rubber. So it's 30 and 30. 30 and 30. And both of them... Both of them use 30 fuel. So, yeah. It, maybe it's the polymer resin one that's different. Residual rubber, 40 resin to make 20 rubber. Residual plastic, 60 resin to make 20 plastic, yeah. <coughs> <coughs> That's the difference. <coughs> Excuse me. They use varying amounts of polymer resin. <coughs> but yeah, for now, that is it. 300 oil, 900 rubber. Stay tuned for the next one. I'll be going over my other setup that I've got over here. <clears throat> I've used 300 oil to make petroleum coke and then 1,200 steel ingots a minute from 300 oil and then varying different, well, the two different steel products. So I'm making steel beams here. You can see over here we're making steel pipes. <coughs> I think it's 1,040 steel pipes a minute we can make from 300 oil when mixed with, uh, obviously, some iron. These are all making steel pipes. Heavy oil residue, petroleum coke, petroleum coke and iron to make steel ingots. Steel ingots and being turned into steel pipes and steel beams. But yes, for now, I am digressing. Uh, that will be the next video, and then we'll do the big overview just to fly around. Just a quick video just showing off this build when it's all finished. But yeah, as always, thanks for watching. As I said before, please like, subscribe, join the Discord, and uh, thanks for watching.